<laughs> so did you also hear that uh, being 40 and 50 plus on YouTube, that's the new TikTok? Well, let's see if that works. It's my Well, good morning. I thought I'd try something different. This is uh, not a sponsored video, I have to admit, but in a kind of twisty way, you can sponsor me, but I'll, I'll get back to that um, a bit later on. So I was in Berlin and Berlin was getting really, really hectic and really, really hot and humid. And I thought I needed to get out and uh, I got out and I'm now somewhere near Hanover. Um, I need to put that on a map somewhere if you don't even know where Hanover is. Um, I surely didn't know. It's about a two hour drive and um, when I arrived here last night it was really really hot and when I woke up this morning it was really really cold and wet. That seems to be the weather um, all throughout uh, 2024 basically wet then a bit of sun and then wet again so i'm here at the lake and uh, i'll show you the lake in a minute maybe i can do it like that if i walk backwards um so i'm gonna have a wander around the lake um, i'm trying this new thing of having a um, let's call it a thursday chat got me coffee and then i'm just gonna have a wander and talk to you about life, the universe and everything. So, let's talk. Some ducks here. Ah. Well, the title is What About the Loneliness of a Solo Van Life or a Solo Traveller? The weird thing with YouTube is, I mean, honestly, it's a weird thing and it's kind of annoying as well, is uh, when you type in, in the search engine of you Google, you type in solo traveler. No, if you type in solo male traveler, that's the funny bit. Uh, only females come up, you know, like, like three pages down, finally you get like one guy and it's not even me. <laughs> So there you go. The only, honestly, the only search you can do to find me is if you say van life at 55. Then I just am top of the list. So there you go. But if you do solo mail traveler, nope, nothing. Solo. What does that mean? Am I lonely? Am I alone? That's the question, really. I am a bit of a loner. I think people uh, always c ask me, like, uh, are you ever alone in your van? Are you ever alone in, uh, on your travels? And to, we, to be quite honest, you're never alone anywhere nowadays anymore, are you? Even if you think, like, oh, I found this little park up where there's nobody there, there's always somebody there. And uh, like here now, you think, and you probably don't see it, but you think I'm, you know, walking alone here around this lake. But I'm not. I mean, there's some, some people sitting there. There's a couple of uh, cyclists over there. So you're never really alone. <sighs> but I've become more of a loner throughout the years, strangely enough. Um, a friend of mine the other day sort of said, well, it's a self, um, what do you call that? A self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, the more 
I say I want to be alone, the more I really want to be alone and sort of like retract myself from, from society or from people. And I guess he was right. I mean, that is what I do. Every time I, uh, I, I end up on a park, uh, park up or on a campsite even, I tend to just like avoid people, shut my door, give a grunt instead of a friendly hello. So human interaction seems to be becoming more and more difficult for me. So I, I, he said, my friend, my friend said, you need to work on that. You have to actually, you know, like force yourself again to, to start talking to people and smiling at people and wishing them uh, a pleasant day and all that, because apparently I'm quite a charming guy. I have uh, just problem dealing with people. Now, in my very first video, I don't know if you remember that, uh, when I was leaving uh, cold and wintry North Europe, uh, I was talking about, like, you know, I want winter sun because I, I really have a severe case of uh, SAD, you know, seasonal affective disorder, and uh, I needed some sun. Now, apparently, SAD also stands for it apparently also stands for social anxiety disorder, which, hey, I get two for the price of one. Can you believe it? So, so that, that's fun, isn't it? Now, I thought that was more like a, a Gen Z kind of thing, but apparently it's a Gen X kind of thing as well. Or maybe it's just a me thing. And uh, I really have, um, I have problems uh, dealing with people. And you might think now, but Hey, Jack, you're a teacher. How do you cope with that? And to be quite honest, that's it. I have just really, the past couple of years, just been coping. Just like getting in front of uh, my classes was uh, really digging into my anxiety. And um, it's kind of stage fright every hour that I started uh, teaching. I mean, once I, I'm in front of the class and once, you know, after a while you get to know the students as well. But every hour is eating into my anxiety and into my stress levels. And that's why I really, really started uh, hating my job and was actually the best decision I could have made is to just quit it really. Although it even let, although it let me into financial ruins, but it was still the best, best choice, uh, best decision I made. So I need to find a job where I don't have to deal with people. And let's be honest, YouTube is perfect. I mean, I don't have to deal with you. I mean, thank you for watching, but I don't have to interact. Like I can do the, the email thing and I can, you know, chat to you and all that. That's perfectly fine. It's just a human interaction that I have a problem with. And I'm working on it. I should be working on it. Let's put it that way. So back to traveling all alone. Would I, would, would I want a, a travel companion? Would I want meetups with people that I, uh, I know or I don't know? Not really sure if I want to really. I think I'm a really, really good doing things on my own. Now, like in Spain, when all of a sudden my alternator broke down and um, I needed help, let's be honest, not just with the, the mechanical side of it, but the language side of it as well. I, um, that, that's the point where you think like, oh, I wish I knew people, or I wish I was really good at uh, you know, connecting with people because uh, I need the help. But in circumstances like that, you actually do, do get help. I mean, people generally are nice. I know that. It's just my brain doesn't gel well with, uh, with people. It's a nice kind of thing in this lake, isn't it? It's kind of very, very quiet. Very peaceful. And to think that I have to move back to uh, Berlin in a couple of uh, hours. Back to the hectic life. And even I am in Berlin. Honestly, I haven't told anybody, any of my friends, that um, I'm in Berlin. So they're going to hate me. They're going to hate me even more if they see this video and um, and discover that I was there and didn't even let them know. 
Now, I don't want to bring everything always back to the COVID years or the Corona years or whatever you call it in your country, but let's be honest, them locking us up wasn't good for our mental health, wasn't good for my students' mental health either. Um, the things that they really did with us, I, I was living in a very, very small space, as, as you probably have seen in one of the clips, and uh, I don't have an outside space, and we were locked up, you know, 24 hours, seven days a week, and I was sitting in this little place where the walls were coming towards me. I, I had to do online teaching, it's then when you realize that, you know, your students or your pupils all have uh, lives themselves. And uh, then you hear about the stories where, you know, there's like three kids in a family all cooped up in a small apartment with one laptop to share. And then they have to all three of them do online teaching. And then uh, you notice that, you know, life isn't as, uh, as perfect as we sometimes would like it to be. So they locked us up, I got crazy, you know, and I just wanted my, my freedom and I just wanted to break out and I just wanted to start traveling. And I think that's where the whole, you know, let's get a van, let's go out, let's break away. That idea came into fruition, let's put it that way. And that's where we're at now. So I am now that free person, supposedly free person, uh, with no job, a small van, and the world is my oyster, as we say. And here I am, walking around the lake, trying my uh, Thursday coffee chat. Not sure if that's going to work. Oh, which brings me back to that thing that I said where you could sponsor me instead of this being a sponsored video. Now, I've created this account with buymeacoffee.com. I just put it in the link in my YouTube main page. And to be quite honest, a couple of people have actually clicked on it and were so nice to actually buy me a coffee because they know I drink a lot of that stuff. So that's really nice of them. And I gave them a shout out as well. So that's good. So I was wondering like if you, if you want to support me and sort of say like, oh, that man, he's just like, traveling aimlessly looking for the meaning of life I'm gonna buy him a coffee then you can do that like uh, buy me a coffee.com slash Jack Van Deen and uh, you can you don't have to it would be nice I'll give you a shout out I actually do buy coffee and <laughs> I'll drink it as well to your health oh look at that So, I usually, um, I don't use a script or anything, so I am going to say that this is my first try for my Thursday coffee. I hope I didn't bore you too much with my, uh, with my ramblings about being lonely or alone or whatever. Um, it's it's a trial and error. I'll keep the Sunday travel vlog going, of course, because I want to show you more than just my face and my voice. Uh, but that's going to be Sunday. And, you know, if people want to hear me ramble on about things on a, on a Thursday, I might, um, I might just do that. Have a coffee Thursday and talk about things. I could talk about lots of things, really. This is just like a... a a rambling first try but next time I'll write a script now I don't know I won't write a script but I will um, I will get a couple of bullet points that at least my thoughts are clear and uh, that it's it all makes sense what I'm saying <sighs> there's a guy swimming there it's bloody cold why is he doing that let's have a look So, I am bidding you farewell from a lovely lake somewhere in near Hanover, which is uh, somewhere in Germany. And um, I'll see you on Sunday for my uh, Berlin update vlog. And uh, just in case you haven't seen my Berlin 
first part visit, which the algorithm apparently didn't push at all. So just in case you didn't see that one, I'll link it up there somewhere up there um, so that you can still click on it and watch what I did one night stealth camping in a forbidden historical place in Berlin. And otherwise, I uh, just gonna run around here a bit, really. It's, it is beautiful, it is very quiet. I can imagine if it's 25 degrees that it's just full of people. And judging from the, um, the litter, it has been really, really busy with people, but uh, not at the moment. So I'm just gonna turn around and show you that the other side, that's where we started. And now we're nearly around the lake. And uh, there you go. I wish you a nice rest of the week and i'm looking forward to seeing you on the sunday cheers for now